Good afternoon, friends. Stephen Benoon here with Israeli News Live. And uh, it's been a long day doing a lot of traveling, but uh, as you can see on our screen right here, the situation is not good over in Damascus, Syria. Israel bombing a, um, uh, a building right next to the Iranian embassy here. Let me kind of blow the picture up for you here. Suicide bombers um, to conduct the attack. An airstrike is a... Israel has definitely escalated things by striking the building next to the Iranian embassy within Damascus, Syria. Yeah. Preliminary reports suggest that at least six people were killed. Within six this people attack. killed. While the Iranian ambassador was not killed, nor were his family injured in the strike, a key member of the ERG, the heads of the Quds Force Department, Mohammad Reza Zahedi, was killed. Typically, strikes on an embassy are off limits because you don't want people to know that you have declared that level of warfare. These are things that are usually done covertly by sending and employing suicide bombers to conduct the attack. An airstrike is a brazen escalation that will surely cause a significant rise in the aggression and warfare between the parties. The fact that they also hit an Erd commander makes this even worse. Biden's inclusion in this conflict by saying... I wanted to be able to play that for a little bit so you could hear what their, <clears throat> this commentator is saying, and it's very true, it is a rise in the escalation of violence uh, between Israel and Iran. And Netanyahu is not backing down. He is going full scale, all out, every front, they are going to wage war. They're going to make sure that the United States gets drawn into this, and they're going to make sure that all the nations turn against Israel so they can make it look and appear as if it's biblical prophecy fulfilling. It's not biblical prophecy fulfilling. It is a crazed maniac in the Middle East there, specifically in Israel, that is determined to escalate the entire globe into war. And, uh, and it's going to get even worse, friends. And, and by the way, we're going to be going into the, uh, the bridge here. Might as well go ahead and just go ahead and talk about this, the Baltimore Bridge. Those of you guys that remember this here, <clears throat> I actually was able to get the information about the Baltimore Bridge. It was an attack, and it is being done in order to drag the United States into the war there. Um, I can't say a whole lot about that. I do have uh, sources there from my own past there that I was able to get that information from. And uh, so I have to be very cautious about that. But yes, it is a job that is being done intentionally. It was not an accident. And of course, uh, it made to look like an accident to some degree. But I'm sure eventually they will disclose, oh, wow, the GPS system was hacked by a foreign entity. That's a good reason to be able to say Iran did it, right? Yeah, okay. Uh, Iran has pretty good level of sophistication in a lot of areas, but I don't think that is one of those areas where Iran would be uh, climbing up to the top of its ranks. But yes, uh, there are those in the CIA that are saying this indeed is done deliberately. I'll just say that for this point right now. U.S. defense officials have also now confirmed that a one-way suicide drone launched by Iranian-backed groups in Syria was down today while attempting to target the Al-Tantra garrison in southern Syria near the border with Jordan. And I'm sure Al-Tantra, the reason why it's coming under the target is because of the bombing of the building next to the U.S., uh, excuse me, the, the Iranian embassy in Damascus. It's only a matter of time before, as I have showed you, that both the United States and Israel are going to level Damascus. It is only a matter of time. Netanyahu also vowing to shut Israeli office of Qatar's Al Jazeera TV in Israel. Oh, I wonder why. You know, just think about it, right? Netanyahu pledged on Monday to shutter the, lo uh, 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 shutter the local office uh, Qatari satellite television station Al Jazeera while the war in Gaza continues, hours after his party spokesperson said Parliament would be convened to ratify the necessary law, the Knesset providing the bill allowing the temporary closure of Israel of foreign broadcasters considered to be a threat to national security. No, it's a threat to those that are exposing your war crimes in the Middle East, your genocide of the poor innocent civilians of Gaza. You know, Many of the world understand the atrocities that Hamas did on October the 7th 
even though that's obvious an inside job, much like everything else that goes on around the world, like what happened here with the Twin Towers, etc. By the way, that blue star in the background was fingerprinted all over those Twin Towers, you know, just to make sure that we came into a war, a war that allegedly all the people are from Saudi Arabia, but, oh, we go attack Iraq. Think of the logic. Is it really logical? No, it's stupid. It's stupid for us to even believe it. But this is the reason why they want Al Jazeera shut down. They don't want you to see that the most modern, sophisticated hospital, the Al-Shifa Hospital, down in the southern part of Israel, look at it. Everything in the entire area leveled by Israeli forces. Oh, thank you, Israel. 20 patients were killed in Israel's siege on this hospital. Not to mention the scores that died and lost their life. Oh, I'm sorry. Israel is telling the rest of the world. Forget Al Jazeera telling you the truth about what's going on. But Israel's trying to tell and convince the rest of the world this was a Hamas headquarters and we got valuable information. Give us time to be able to falsify that information to feed it to the rest of the world to get the Zionists and those pro-Zionists to go along with our agenda. And that is blowing up Gaza and totally annihilating everybody in that province there, driving them out. So after all, those Israelis that are planning their new houses that are going to be built in Gaza, all that can be done, right? Yeah, that's exactly what you got going on. That's the truth of the matter. Let's just go ahead and tell it like it is. Unfortunately, it's only Jewish people or, or like myself, someone that has Jewish descent that'll tell you the truth. You know, that's that's the only type of people that are going to tell you the truth. Well, of course, other people will tell you the truth too. But, you know, it certainly is not going to be the pro-Zionists that are all backing Israel to, you know, I mean, I mean, how, how do you sleep at night knowing that all these children are being just slaughtered and murdered? Does it make you feel fuzzy inside? Do you know how many Christians have been killed in Gaza? You ever think about Christians? Maybe not. I guess because they're Palestinian Christians, their value must be a much lower on the scale. While Christianity is spit and mocked upon by many in the Orthodox community. Not all the Orthodox. Don't Please, please, don't put all the Orthodox in that same basket. There's a lot of good Jewish people out there. I guarantee you that. But that radical group that is controlling the country right now, bent on bringing the annihilation of the Palestinians, both in the West Bank, Gaza, Lebanon, Syria, does it not make it obvious to you that they're just trying to wipe out everybody all the way to the Euphrates River? Or from the, I should say, from the Euphrates to the Nile? Pretty obvious to me. Anyway, Israel builds a massive emergency supply of fuel, food, and medical gear. Uh, to prep for war versus Hezbollah, over 500 million invested in boosting stockpiles and parallel electricity grid fortified to minimize rocket damage, daily blackouts expected, Israel halt gas rig operations, switch to alternative sources of energy during war, Hezbollah expected to fire up to 5,000 missiles and rockets daily. How? You know? Oh, I'm sorry, Hezbollah. Yeah, they're probably right as far as Hezbollah. As I was thinking Hamas, sorry. Uh, say the war will erupt unexpectedly regardless of who initiates it. Most rockets target Haifa area, northern Israel via uh, Kalakalist. Hey, it's coming, friends. It's coming. That's why we continue to see more and more, obviously, I mean, this one was very difficult to, to even determine it was an inside job or a staged event. Because the ship captain does put out a distress call, they were able to stop somewhat of the traffic, but still it is meant to be perceived later as a terrorist attack. Maybe not yet, but eventually they'll say that. Now my source hasn't said that they're going to call it a terrorist attack, but, mm, well, we'll just leave it at that for now. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live, the only place you're going to, well, I shouldn't say the only place you find the truth. There's other people that tell you the truth. But we appreciate you. We thank you. We thank you for your support. Please support us on patreon.com forward slash Israeli News Live. And as well, our website, israelinewslive.org. Uh, you could go there. You can donate online. Donating online right now is probably the best way because we are traveling so much. 
Uh, also on iConnectFX.com, when you're watching our program, programs over there, you can donate right there through iConnect as well. Encourage you to subscribe to iConnect, uh, where you can have multiple languages to be able to share your information to the world. I'm Stephen Benoon. Tomorrow night, we'll be with, um, uh, I'll be going on, uh, oh, goodness, goodness, Pastor Anthony on his program, and uh, I will try to get a link Probably tomorrow or maybe later tonight, I'll post a link in here for you to where you can watch that interview that I'll do with Pastor Anthony. God bless you. Thank you for listening. Stephen Bernard with Israeli News Live.